Canva is a powerful free graphic design tool that allows anyone to easily create any type of designs that you can imagine. Also, did you know that Canva now allows you to create a functional website in minutes? Well, Canva actually allows you to take all your designs and then transform these designs into a visually stunning website. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all having a productive day. Now today in this Canva tutorial, I'm going to share how to simply create your own free website with your Canva designs in just a few minutes. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into Canva, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and convert your Canva designs into a functional website. <music> Okay, so here I am inside my free Canva account. Now to get started with Canva, if you currently do not have a Canva account, simply navigate over to your browser and type in canva.com or feel free to click the link in our description below this video and that's going to take you to Canva. Now go ahead, sign up for free and we'll meet you inside your Canva account. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, Canva is a completely free all-in-one graphic design tool that allows anyone to simply create any type of graphic that they can think of. You can create graphics and designs from logos, social media posts, to presentations, marketing materials, newsletters, and more. However, today's focus with Canva is to create a free website for your business. To do that, simply navigate up to the search bar and type in website. Then navigate down and locate this website option here. And as you can see, if we navigate up here, Canva will generate over 500 pre-made website templates that you can choose from and then customize the way that you like. First, if we navigate over to the left hand side and under filters, we have style. This is where we can filter through the 500 pre-made website templates based on the style that we like. We can also navigate down further and we can choose from a theme down here. So for example, if we click on view more, we can view all the different types of pre-made website themes. So for me, what I wanna do is go ahead and select business because I wanna create a website for my small business. However, you can choose any of the styles or themes. Then what we also wanna do is navigate down and click on free because we wanna choose from the free pre-made website templates. Then simply navigate through all the different pre-made website templates that Canva has generated. Now, I like the look of this pre-made template up here because what I wanna do is create a website for a digital marketing agency. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this website template. Now it's important to note that some of the templates have paid elements and you can choose to delete those elements or you can pay for those elements. So within Canva you have access to paid elements and templates as well as free elements and templates. So I'm going to go ahead and select this template here. And that's going to generate the pre-made template that you selected. Now, if you're not quite happy with this pre-made template after scrolling through each of the different pages, then what you can do is navigate over to the left hand side where we have templates and search for a specific template type based on the type of website that you want to create. For example, if I type in cafe, Canva will generate cafe website templates that I can choose from. However, I'm happy with this marketing specialist website because for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm creating a digital media and marketing agency website. Now, before we start customizing this website template, what we can also do is navigate up to preview. And this is where we can preview what the website template will look like for our visitors online. Now, what we want to do is make sure that we click on without navigation and select with navigation. This is going to allow our website visitors to easily navigate through each of the different sections of our website. And as you can see, this is a single page website. And single page websites are ideal for small businesses that want to enhance user navigation. So your website visitors can simply scroll through each of the different sections on your website 
or they can click on the navigation items in your primary menu. Now, if we navigate over to the left hand side, Canva allows us to resize on mobile. Basically, when we have this selected, Canva will automatically ensure that our website is responsive across mobile devices. So again, if we navigate over and click on mobile, we can preview what our website will look like on mobile device. So again, take the time to preview what your website will look like across desktop and mobile. Then simply navigate up to close. And once we've finished customizing our website, we can go ahead and preview our website one last time before publishing our website online. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is change the overall brand colors of our website. To do that, simply click on any of the elements. So for example, I'm going to click on this orange header up here and then navigate up to the text color. And then if we navigate over to the left hand side under document colors, these are the colors that currently make up our website. What we want to do is come down and create our own brand colors in brand kit. And this will allow us to easily change the global colors of our website. So go ahead and click here. Then simply navigate down to color palette. For the purpose of today's tutorial, we're creating a website for Cindio Media, which is a digital media and marketing agency. So I'm going to go ahead and add Cindio Media. Then once you've named your new color brand kit, come down and click add to add a new color. And it's important to note that with Canva, you can add up to three brand kit colors completely for free. However, if you want to add additional colors, more than three colors to your brand kit, you will need to upgrade to the paid plan. So what I'm going to do is quickly go ahead and add three colors based on my brand. And once you're happy with your three colors, simply navigate up to exit. And what I want to do is change all the orange text within this website template to this blue color over here. To do that, I would click on this blue color and then simply navigate down and click on change all. And that's going to change all the orange text elements to this blue color over here. So go ahead and click on change all. And now if I navigate through my website, you'll notice that all the text headers are this blue color. If I scroll down further, again, you can see that those colors have changed and I'm happy with that. Now what I want to do is change this background orange as well as the color of this element here and this button element. To do that, what I'm going to do is simply click on this background and then navigate up to color and then change the background color to this blue color again and then come down and click change all and now all the elements within my website are this blue color i'm happy with that and now what we're going to do is actually customize each of the website pages and add our own content to do that we're going to start off at the top of our website page simply click on any of the elements that you want to customize so for example i'm going to click on this text element here and change this to my business name which is cindio media now you'll notice you have these formatting options up above we can change the font the size of the font color we can bold italic we can also change the alignment and we have effects over here we can change the text effects so what i'm going to do is simply click on this text element and add my business name. Again, I can change the size by clicking up here, or I can simply drag the edges of this element, and then I can also click on the element and drag this element to any destination on this page. I'm happy with this element. I'm also gonna go ahead and change this element here to digital marketing and media. And I'm happy with this text element. Now, if I navigate down to this button, what I want to do is make sure that this button sends the visitor who clicks on this button to a specific destination on my website. So to do that, click on the button. I'm going to change this button to strategy session. And what I can do is drag out the sides to make sure that it all fits. And I'm going to place that center aligned. Now to link the button, make sure that you have the button selected, navigate up to these three dots, come down and click on link. Here I have the option to link an external link so I can send my website visitors when they click on this button to an external destination online 
or I can link a page within this document. So I want people to be sent to the contact page. So I can go ahead and click contact page and that's gonna link this button to the contact section of my website. And I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna go ahead and click done. Now, if I navigate down further, again, I can simply customize each of these different elements. I'm going to change Kimberly to Stuart. And remember with each of the text elements, you have these formatting options up above. So what you wanna do is simply navigate through each of your website pages, click on all the different elements and replace the default text with your own text. Then what we can also do is replace these images. So for example, if I wanted to simply replace this image, what I can do is navigate over to the left hand side and click on photos. Now, if you cannot see photos on the left hand side, simply navigate down to more and locate photos. I'm gonna go ahead and click on photos and then up here in the search bar, type in a keyword related to the type of photo that you want to find. I'm going to add marketing. And as you can see down here, Canva will generate photos related to the keyword I typed in, which was marketing. Now you'll notice that with each of these images, they are either free, so this is a free image. However, if you see this little pro crown icon on the image, that means it's a paid element or paid image, meaning you will need to pay for that image if you want to use it, or if you've upgraded to Canva Pro, then you can use any of these paid elements. So what I'm going to do is simply use this free image by simply clicking the image and dragging the image to replace this default image over here. So take your time to navigate through each of your website pages to simply replace the default content. Again, you can do that by simply clicking on an element or image and replacing the existing image. You can also navigate over to uploads and you can upload your own images or videos that you want to add to your website. The same goes for elements. If we click on elements and then type in a keyword, for example, marketing, you can see that Canva will generate elements or images in relation to the keyword that you added. And then you can simply click on the element and that's going to add that element within your pages. And again, you have formatting options up here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that element and then scroll down. And what I want to do is delete this image here, as well as this little icon here by simply selecting those two images and clicking delete. And again, like I mentioned, I can add an element if I like, instead of that image and element. Or I also have the option to add a YouTube video. So for example, if I navigate over to the left hand side, you can see YouTube. If you cannot see YouTube, simply come down and click on more and then locate the YouTube icon. I'm gonna go ahead and click on YouTube and then search for one of my YouTube videos. And here is the YouTube video that I want to embed on my website page. To do that, I can simply click and drag onto my website page or I can click on this video and that's gonna add the YouTube video into my page. I can also go ahead and resize this video element and I'm happy with that. And now when website visitors arrive on this section of my website, they can watch this YouTube video. This video could be about our consultation that we offer. Now, if I navigate up to the top again, let's say, for example, I wanted to replace these images with videos. Then what I can do is either upload my own videos or I can navigate down to videos. And then again, what I would do is type in a keyword. I'm gonna type in advertising. And then again, I can navigate down and select any of these videos. Remember, some of these are paid videos and then some of them are free. All I would do is click on the image and then drag and replace the default media with this video. I can also double click and then change the positioning of this video. And I'm happy with that. So remember, Canva works by simply dragging and dropping the different elements from the left-hand side. Now, if we navigate down to the very bottom, what I wanna do is link this button to an external booking form. For example, if I navigate up to these three dots and click here and then click on link, I can link this button to an external form. 
For example, I could create a form using Google Forms completely for free. And if you're interested in learning how to create a Google Form for free, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will take you through the process of creating a Google Form so that you can capture specific information from your website visitors. Or what you could do is add an external booking page. So for example, we use Calendly to create a form that our website visitors can use to book a strategy session with us. These are just examples of linking to an external destination. And because this button is a book a consultation button, I'm going to link to our Calendly strategy session. I'm going to hit enter and just like that the link has been added. Now what I want to do is remove this underline. To do that I'm going to navigate up to this underline and click here. And now my button looks very fresh. I'm happy with that. Again, up here, what you want to do is take the time to customize this information and add your own contact information. Now, we can also add additional pages to our website. To do that, simply navigate down the bottom and click Add Page. Then, simply navigate up to Templates and click on Layouts. And Canva will generate specific layouts that you can add to your website page. Now what I'm going to do is navigate up here and scroll across and you can see these different elements. For example, map, contact, we have a footer here, mock-up, agenda, article. What I'm going to do is navigate across and add a footer. And I like the look of this footer down here, so I'm going to go ahead and add that footer. Now you can see all this white space down here. What I can do is simply drag the bottom and make this page smaller. So I'm happy with that sizing for my footer. I can also navigate across and I can highlight all these elements and I can make these bigger if I like. And then what you want to do is link each of these social media icons. To do that, simply click on the element and then simply navigate up to link and simply add your profile to each of the social media accounts. It's as simple as that to link your social media. Now what I want to do is navigate down here and I'm actually going to move this email address and place that here. And then I'm going to navigate over to more and I'm going to add a map to my website. To do that, simply navigate over to Google Maps, then type in your business destination. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and add this map in here. And as you can see, that's going to add the map to this specific destination. This is just a random map that I have added. However, what you want to do is make sure that you find your business map and embed that into your website. So as you can see over here, I have my business address and then we have the map over here. I'm happy with my footer. Again, you can come down and add additional website pages if you like. However, I'm happy with my new website that I just created. So remember, it's as simple as that to customize pre-made website templates by simply clicking on each of the element, replacing the default media or text with your own content. Now, what we're going to do is navigate down the bottom and click on grid view. And here we can view our entire website with a grid view. If we navigate up to the top, you can see we have home, about, work, services, feedback, contact. And then we have a seventh page over here, which is our footer. Now, if we wanted to add the footer into our primary menu, then what we would do is come down and customize this and add footer. But because your footer does not appear in your primary menu, we're going to leave that for now and simply change some of the names for these sections of our website. For example, if I navigate over to feedback, what I'm going to do is replace this with projects. And now in my navigation, you will see projects rather than feedback. And I'm happy with all these other website pages. So again, this is where you come if you want to rearrange each of the pages. So for example, you can drag and drop the pages into different locations on your website. You can also go ahead and create a new page from this grid view if you like. But I'm happy with that, so what I'm going to do is navigate down and close grid view. And when you're happy with your new website, you've made all your customizations, simply navigate up to preview. And then one last time, before we go ahead and publish our new website, we need to preview what our website will look like across devices after we've made those customizations. Simply navigate up to without navigation and click on with navigation. And as you can see, these are our navigation items, home, about, work, services, projects, and contact. 
Again, we want to preview our website on mobile, make sure that our website is responsive. And then when you're happy with your website, simply click close and then navigate over to publish as website. Simply come down and make sure that you have resize on mobile selected, then click on without navigation and ensure that you have with navigation selected. Remember, this is going to make it a lot easier for your website visitors to navigate through your website and find the information that they're after. Now, with the free version of Canva, you can create up to five websites completely for free. And you can choose to use a free domain, you can purchase a new domain through Canva, or you can use an existing domain if you already own a professional domain name. So we're going to use the free domain for now and then navigate down and you can see down here we're using one premium image and you'll be asked to pay for that image if you're using the free version of Canva. If you're using Canva Pro then you can use all the paid elements, videos and photos within your website. So what I'm going to do is locate this image and simply delete it before clicking continue. So as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and removed that paid element. So now I can continue for free. Here, what we want to do is navigate up to your URL and click the pencil icon and then add your business name, your website name. For us, it's Cindio Media. Then come down to browser tab preview and click on the pencil icon. And here I recommend adding your business and brand name again. Then navigate across and here you have the option to change the website's favicon. This is the little icon that appears in your browser. I'm going to go ahead and quickly change this by uploading an image. And I'm happy with the image that I just uploaded. I'm going to go ahead and click done. And that's going to replace the default Canva favicon with my own branded favicon. Then come down and describe your website. Go ahead and add a brief description. Then come down to permissions and this is where you have the option to enable password protection. This means no one can access your website unless they have the password to be able to access your website. This is ideal if you have some form of paid community and you only want specific people to be able to access your website. Then you also have the option to hide my website from search engines. But because we want to create a public website that anyone can access, we're going to disable both these options by keeping them unselected, then come down and click on publish. Give Canva a moment to create your new website and congratulations just like that your new website is now live online for people to discover your brand, your business online. Simply come down and click on view website. And I'm happy with my new website. As you can see, I have a video over here that I can play. Then if we navigate down further, we also have the YouTube video down here that visitors can watch. And if I scroll back up to the top and click on strategy session, that's going to take my visitors down here where they can then book a strategy consultation with me. If they click on book a consultation, that's going to take them to our Calendly form that we link to that button. So what I'm going to do is head back to our Canva website and if we scroll down further we have our footer, we have our social media icons and we also have this map that shows the direction to our business. And as you can see it's as simple as that to create a responsive and functional website for your business. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Canva website tutorial. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.